Imagine running your house for six whole months without paying a single penny for electricity. That's exactly what I'm gonna to demonstrate to you today. And this is gonna to apply to people in flats, people who rent. This is gonna to apply to every single person. I'm gonna demonstrate how you can slash your bills by going off grid throughout the summer, but also throughout the six colder months of the year, you'll be able to reduce your bills by up to 70%. This setup could be a real game changer for many of you considering how to reduce your bills as the cost of energy and electricity continue to rise. So this is the first main product that I'm gonna be using to demonstrate this concept. It's a big 40 kilo beast. Hope my dining table can take it. What I'm gonna show you with this Afri P310 battery is that through the summer, this can capture the energy from the sun. It has a big battery in here and this can power your whole home, everything that you use, all of your electricity demand. So for six months of the year, we can drop your electricity bills down to zero. Now for the remaining six months of the year, what we can do with this is we can plug this into one of your plug sockets and we can charge this overnight on a cheap tariff. So you can get energy for sometimes less than a quarter of the day rate by charging up overnight. And then you'll use this to power all of your devices throughout the day when the electricity rate is much more expensive. So in the summer, we can use this to live for free. And then in the winter, we can use this to massively reduce our electricity costs. This setup is fully DIY friendly, no qualified electricians needed, no expensive connection fees, no complicated infrastructure. This is very straightforward. Make sure that you subscribe so you don't miss more content designed to save you money. The Afri P310 is a portable power station that can power devices up to 3,600 watts. It has a variety of connections, three AC plug sockets, DC sockets. These are all output, USB charging. We can charge at different rates. It has an app so you can program timers on it. You can see at the moment, we're not drawing any power, so we've got 29 days remaining. But the key feature for this video is around here at the business end. You can charge it with an old kettle lead, but this is an XT90 input. And this we can connect up to four solar panels, four large solar panels. So we can get 2000 watts of solar plugged directly into this beast. In terms of battery capacity, this has 3,840 watt hours. That's 3.84 kilowatt hours. The wheels and importantly, the extendable handle make this 40 kilo beast actually manageable to move around as required. I'm gonna demonstrate the concept to you using my solar shed. There's six panels on there, but I've just wired up four to stick with the 2000 watt limit. And this is still a work in progress, so ignore all of the stuff at the moment. Let's see how much is being soaked up. So right now, we are not having perfect sunshine, but you can see that was 1,300 watts. Oh, we're, we're down to 1,000 watts now. Okay, so we are receiving, what's that, 1,700 watts? On the left side is showing how many minutes until the battery is full to 100%. And quickly for the nerds amongst us, um, because this, this power station has a maximum PV input of 160 volts. These panels have an open circuit voltage of 43.7 volts. So to make sure that we are not tripping the device by putting too much voltage into it, we have two panels wired in series, two panels wired in series, and then those two wired in parallel, which then, here's my little parallel joiner, which then goes into our XT90 connector. So what can it power? With 3,600 watts of power, it can easily handle toasters, which are normally between 800 and 1,000 watts, and kettles, which are normally somewhere between 2,000 to 3,000 watts. How about a microwave? Well, once again, that's about 1,000 watts, so well within the limits of something like this. Our, even our big Kenwood Chef XL is 1200 watts maximum draw. Compressor in our fridge freezer typically runs around 50 watts, something like that. And that only runs for a few minutes. 
and then it just idles along. Anything with a three pin plug can be plugged into this and this thing is man enough to power it. Everything I've thrown at it, even multiple devices at a time, I've tried power tools, I've tried space heaters, absolutely no problem at all. Even plugged my EV into this and it works with a granny charger, absolutely no problem at all. That takes about 2,300 watts and this can sustain 3,600 watts until the battery's fully depleted. So at the beginning, I said for six months of the year, you could run without spending a penny on electricity from your energy provider. Let me walk you through some of the numbers. The average household uses 2,700 kilowatt hours of electricity per year. Now, if you have four 500 watt solar panels, as I was showing outside, and you have them facing south, you could generate around 2,300 kilowatt hours of electricity. This graph here shows you that you can clearly, between April and September, run completely off grid with just four 500 watt solar panels. But it also highlights that there will be a deficit throughout the winter months. Now I'm gonna show you how we switch gears for October, November, December, January, February, March, and we will be charging this device overnight on a cheap rate. This is the app for the P310. It shows us information. We can turn on and off various sockets and do various things, but the feature I want to show you is here in settings and we're going to go down to the middle of the screen to charging settings and we are going to click on AC booking charging and we're going to start a booking and for us our cheap energy rate starts at 11.30 p.m. We're going to press OK and now you can see in 11 hours and 50 minutes it's going to start charging itself. So we can wake up in the morning with a fully charged battery ready to power our house throughout the day. So what does this look like charging? It's a standard three pin kettle lead, which plugs into this end of the device. There we go. And you plug that into any wall socket in your home so that it can charge this overnight. You can then continue to keep any of your devices plugged into one of these three sockets at the front here. If you have a power cut, for example, these plug sockets will continue to function. So you've got cheap, available backup storage, even if the grid fails you. Okay, here's some quick calculations for you. If you can buy energy at seven pence per kilowatt hour overnight, you could charge this device from fully flat to fully full for 27 pence. Now, if you use that electricity directly from the grid on a normal tariff, that could cost you about one pound three pence. That's a 76 pence saving per day. With a few assumptions, we could say that that would save us around 100 pounds per year, potentially. So if we think we can save around about 100 pounds per year in the winter months, what could we save in the summer if we can use all of that solar energy? Well, I've crunched a few numbers and you could be saving somewhere in the region of four to 500 pounds if you can run completely off solar for the six months of the kind of brighter, sunnier periods. That could mean a total saving over the year of both strategies, maybe up to 700 pounds. If you can completely optimize the way that you use electricity in your house and really make this device work for its money, you could probably pay it off in under three years, maybe even getting close to two years. Depends if you start to then factor in the cost of solar panels, the cost of wiring, those bits and pieces. Those four solar panels out there, for example, you could purchase those four for 250 pounds, and that's 2000 watts of solar. By far the most cost effective option is looking at aluminium frame glass panels. The lightweight, portable, flexible solar panels, they are more expensive because you pay for that convenience of being able to transport them and being portable. This AFRI unit, I haven't mentioned the price yet, it is 1,500 pounds. There will be a discount code in the link in the description so you can go and help yourself to an additional discount off that. So you can see if you could maximize it and you could make 700 pounds per year saving on your electricity bill, you can quickly see how this makes a lot of sense. That's not even factoring in that this is a portable unit you can take away with you. That's not factoring in that power cuts won't affect you. Also doesn't factor in the 
inflation of the energy cost as well. We all see that the price of electricity continues to rise, unfortunately. This is why battery combined with solar is becoming such a popular option because it's not just an environmentally conscious thing to do anymore, it's a financially sensible thing to do now. So what if you're a very high consumer of electricity and the 3.84 kilowatt hours of battery in this unit are not enough for you? Well, you have two ports to extend the battery storage. And so you can triple up. So that could bring your storage up to 11.52 kilowatt hours. That is more than enough to see people through the day even if your home consumes a lot of electricity. Now, if you are a very high consumer and if you plan to be in your property for some time, you own your own home, then I would still recommend getting a professional solar installation on your roof, maximize the amount of panels that are on your roof because that unlocks so many other benefits like selling electricity back to the grid, which builds up credit in your energy account. It also means that every single circuit of your home is included on the free electricity from the solar panels and from your battery unit. Of course, with this unit, we would be restricted to anything that we could plug into the sockets on this. So it wouldn't include some of the things like integrated lighting, maybe your boiler, maybe hardwired in, sometimes some of your electrical appliances in your kitchen, like ovens and cookers. Although there are plenty of people that are running cookers and ovens from devices like this. It still can be done and of course there are portable units. We use a portable induction hob when we go camping. This thing can power it absolutely no problem. This could power probably three of our little portable induction hobs all next to each other and not even miss a beat. This is also absolutely ideal for a standalone electricity power system. So camper vans, stuff like that. A lot of these are marketed at that market anyway, so I didn't focus on it in this video. Summer houses, off-grid cabins, you name it. Whack one of these in, it's cheaper than running a cable from an existing electricity supply and putting in sub distribution boards and consumer units and all that kind of stuff. Just whack one of these in there. A couple of panels on the wall of your summer house, on the roof, on the walls, whatever, and you pretty much have enough electricity to run an off-grid cabin or, or summer house all year round without having to worry about having a grid connection. A quick recap then, for six months of the year, you can plug your solar panels into this and you can run completely off grid without spending a penny on electricity. And then for the further six months of the year, you can plug this in, you charge it on a cheap rate, and then you use the energy throughout the day in your home so that you're always running on the cheapest available electricity. Now, I know some of you were cheeky in the last comments and you said you'll be taking your battery to work and you'll be plugging in and letting your employer charge up. And we would not encourage that kind of behavior at all. This Afri P310, it shows just how accessible solar and battery storage is becoming to everyone. So as a wrap up, what would you use this device for? Let me know in the comments. I'd be interested to read what applications you think this is ideally suited for. If you found this useful, as always, like and subscribe. I will be doing a follow-up video on this and showing you another way that this could be a very versatile and useful device to anyone who is interested in purchasing one. As a reminder, the links are in the description. And if you do purchase using the links, then it does give the channel a small little percentage. I'm gonna keep testing these devices, this Afri one and the other ones that you've previously seen on the channel. And I'm slowly trying to work out what would be my top picks for various different situations and different solutions, because I think there is a solution for everyone. And sometimes I read the negative comments and a lot of people out there feeling that solar and battery storage is still well beyond their grasp. And I don't want that to be the case. I want to show them that there are options and there are possibilities and that we should all be hopeful for more energy independence. That's it. Thank you and goodbye. Ugh.